what is up it is Berlin welcome or welcome back to my channel hi how are you doing this fine Wednesday hope you're all having a great day so far yes I'm back with another drama video for you so the first thing that I want to get into is a little bit about James Charles James effing Charles James Charles decided to post on his IG a list of things that he didn't like now this was on his IG stories a whole list of things that he didn't like including things like the color yellow pink purple oh this with that and this with that and he don't like animal print times two and he don't like denim and he don't like jackets with a plain white shirt underneath them and all this and now this list was allegedly allegedly something that gets shown to new hires on the james charles team something that gets shown to new hires so that they know what james doesn't like allegedly hey bramley how you doing what are you doing there bramley oh little bramley yeah what do you think bramley about all this nonsense with james charles that he doesn't like this that the other doesn't like animal print crime doesn't like animal print doesn't like pink dead to me doesn't like yellow what color do you like james you know what i mean what color do you like you don't like colors you don't like this you don't like that so this list was allegedly for new hires on the james charles team so that they know what he doesn't like. I don't know what that's for. Is that in case he's, you know, mixing with people who happen to be wearing pink or yellow or something he doesn't like and he can go, eh, don't like that. I don't know. I don't know. Also, another little thing with James Charles was he got called out on IG for something that he said about a pizza. He was saying that the pizza was, you know, so good. It was like, you know, Lady Garden. And somebody called him out on this and said, dude, can't you just say that you like the pizza? We know with James, he likes to use this kind of language. You know, he's gay. You know, a lot of gay men do use that sort of language when they're talking about food. I'll get in my pussy and all this, you know. It's something that they do. Is it a little bit misogynistic sometimes? Yeah. But, you know, it's something that I'm used to. Being around, you know, gay people or drag queens or whatever, it's something that you kind of get used to. It's not really a big deal to me, but, you know, I'm more concerned about the whole list, having a list of whole things that you don't like and all this, like for new hires. I'm more concerned about that. It was giving me, like, very Devil Wears Prada vibes, you know. And now, of course, we've got to talk about Deaf Noodles. Deaf Noodles. Deaf Noodles, it came out that Deaf Noodles had lied about his age. He's got a famous birthdays profile. And on the famous birthdays profile, it said he was in his 20s. But it turned out that he's not. He's actually 37. So he's actually pushing 40. Now, Deaf Noodles is pushing 40, talking about dramas and things that involve teenagers and 15-year-olds and minors. Does this not strike anyone else as creepy? I personally think it's a little bit weird that Deaf Noodles is, like, pushing 40 and talking about teenagers, people like Charlie D'Amelio and younger people, you know, he's talking about all these influencers, all these people, and they're kids, they're literal kids. Like, I don't talk about the TikTok generation for that reason, because they're kids and they're not my age group, you know. People like Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, a lot of the influencers that I talk about are around my kind of age group. <laughs> I'm not here talking about 15-year-olds, you know, but Deaf Noodles has been called out for this. He's been called out on Twitter by Margot Indigo. Now, Margot Indigo is somebody who I know only from Twitter, you know. She called him out. And I'm like, yeah, this is bang on because why is Deaf Noodles covering dramas to do with 15, 14, 16-year-olds, you know? <laughs> and he's twice their age. He's old enough to be their dad. It's a little bit gross, right? And apart from that, apart from that, we've got Manny MUA whinging that he can't find a boyfriend and also being quite ageist in the process, actually. Whinging that he can't find a boyfriend, that he really liked this guy, the look of this guy, but when he got up to his face, he looked old. Now, Manny, hun, you know spring chicken. Manny, you are what, 30s? 
girl and you want to shade somebody because they don't have a perfect wrinkle free face like girl we are not all influencers who can afford botox this and fillers that you know clearly we're not all that but for manny to complain about this person's face like not being perfect i was like girl shady shady money absolutely shady rude very very rude i got questions i got some questions so i'm driving right now i look over and there's this guy walking and he's shirtless and i look over because i am the body is sickening let me tell you the body is snatched it's as if it's like a 22 year old tan surfer six pack nice chest the whole fantasy it is like the body the body that launched a thousand ships I get up to his face because I finally travel up, you know, started from the bottom, now we're here. And he's like 50 years old. Fully gray hair, 50 years old. 55 maybe. He's pushing, he's pushing 60. I want to know how his body is so young looking, but his face is not. I was so confused. So of course I think SPF. He doesn't apply SPF, he's doomed. But I'm like, that doesn't make sense because his body is still young. Like, I'm just like, I'm confused. You know what this is giving me? You know what this is giving me? Do you guys remember back when Manny Mue was pulling a face at a fan because of the way they looked? He was doing a photo shoot with, I think it was Patrick Starr at the time, and they were doing a photo shoot together with a fan. If I can find the picture, I'll pop it in here. They were doing a photo shoot, um, like a meet and greet, you know, where fans can all come up, meet you, take a picture with you. And Manny pulled his face like, like, oh, that person's disgusting kind of thing. He made fun of a fan. And people want to be like, oh, Manny's drama-free. Manny's such a lovely, sweet person. But they forget the things that Manny has done. You know, they forget that Manny has been a shady, shady little bitch. They really do. You know, like Manny pulling faces at fans who've paid money, probably, to go to a meet-and-greet event, a beauty event at that, to see him and Patrick Starr because they were his idols. And Manny was there mm, pulling faces girl money have a day off money no the last thing that money needs to be doing is shading anybody else really like you know this is all going to come back to bite him in the ass honestly if he wants to shade people for the way they look this is 2018 money oh yeah and the next person we're going to talk about in this video is going to be Tati Westbrook now Tati Westbrook we don't cover Tati Westbrook a lot on this channel if ever because Tati is not really like a mm, drama drama person you know ever since the whole bye sister and breaking my silence vids Tati is not really in drama but there is something that came up on one of her YouTube videos the other day that I happened to get into Tati is being called out by her subscribers in the comments of a YouTube video that she put up recently where she was trying some products that were supposed to be like clean beauty products she was trying a foundation and she got into the ingredients in the foundation and here's what happened i do not like putting soy anything in my body or on my body or on my face so this is kind of one of those moments where i'm like reading the ingredients and i'm like Ugh. it's just such a hormone disrupting product to ingest, to eat, to apply topically. I do not like soy for so many reasons, high in glyphosates, and I, I don't digest it either. Like my stomach, if I have soy, like even if it's hidden in like ranch, which you would be surprised. Soybean oil lurks like in the corners of everything. So I have had to learn how to make just about everything that I enjoy in life at home to make sure that seed oils, which I have completely eliminated, canola oil, soybean oil, grape seed oil. I will use avocado and coconut. Those are the go-tos, but sesame seed oil, all of it out. And you know what? My stomach issues, gone. Now, you might be wondering what the drama is with this. Now, if you listen to that little spiel from Tati Westbrook, 
go in the comments underneath that video and you'll see that people are calling her out her subscribers are calling her out saying stop fear mongering about soy stop fear mongering about ingredients in products all of this i went and looked and there were people who'd left like literal paragraphs about tati westbrook doing this in her videos now i you know try and buy like cruelty free or vegan beauty products where i can but i'm not somebody who's gonna like get a product and go like mm, oh has it got soy in it has it got this you know what i mean i'm not somebody who's gonna do that but tati is somebody who does that and she was doing that on her channel and people are just calling her out for it saying like girl you know this is too much we don't come here for this we don't come here for health advice we come here for the makeup you know which i think is pretty fair really i think that is bang on because honestly like if i watch a tati westbrook video when i click on a tati westbrook video i'm clicking to watch makeup i'm clicking to watch a review is the makeup worth my coin or not i'm not clicking on it to see like oh has it got soy in it you know what i mean i'm not clicking in it to see if it's like all oh, green all the time you know yeah i understand the importance of like wanting to go green with things like food you know and all of this i understand the importance of it for the environment and all of that but when it comes to being like so picky about beauty products you're going to be left with nothing to choose from if you're going to be that picky and it's just like insane how some of these influencers it's almost like kind of cultish behavior how some of them are kind of becoming this preachy about things like religion or ingredients in products it's insane like you don't go to a beauty influencer for skin advice you don't go to them you know for nutrition advice you go to them to watch them put on makeup right you go for like makeup reviews and stuff you know if you want specialist skin advice you go to a dermatologist if you want dietary advice you go to a doctor or a dietitian you know what i mean you don't go to a beauty influencer so i totally understand why people are calling tati out in the comments down below there well it's too much it's too much we came for the makeup not a, a lesson about tati westbrook's gut health you know girl oh sorry i realized it might look like i'm not wearing clothes but i am i promise i've got this black sequin h&m number on little simple black sequin dress with little tiny thin straps it's cute it's very cute but yeah tatty westbrook i don't know what to make of all that it is a little bit kind of it's giving me very like gwen stefani microbiotic diet we can't afford that can we ramley no we can't where do we get our food from Aldi and Lidl, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you see, Aldi and Lidl, we go where the bargains are, we do. Me and baby Bramley here. Cheap as chips. Anyway, sit there, love. I'll come back to you in a minute. Bear yourself. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. Take care. Stay safe. Stay well. And I will see you guys on the next one. Me and my little child, Bramley, are going to say goodbye for now. Love you. Take care. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.